Well, while the bad weather has been affecting the travel plans of thousands of people, the snow and ice should make conditions perfect for Santa Claus as he prepares for his busiest night of the year. But how does he manage to deliver presents to millions of children all around the world in just one night? Well, our reporter, Kian McCormack, has been investigating. With people putting the finishing touches to Christmas, there are still many unsolved mysteries. Like how does Santa bring presents like these to 91 million homes all over the world in just one night? It's likely he'll have a couple of rough landings like this at some stage tonight, but experts say he uses more scientific methods. The theory of parallel universes is quite respectable and suggests that there's an infinite number of universes. One could be the universe where Santa visits Johnny's house. The other could be the universe in which Santa visits Mary's house. So it would be possible for Santa to visit every house in the world at the same time and still be home in time for tea. At Trinity College, scientists have some similar theories, but they say it's all down to nanotechnology and that's the science of tiny particles like atoms and molecules. I think he has to be using nanotechnology at a, on a plane that we can hardly even imagine. Science tells us how Santa gets presents to us, but children have their own theories. He flies in the night and he laughs in the night going around in the snow. Rudolph can fly. Oh. And, and he has a shiny nose. With Rudolph's red nose lighting the way, the weather isn't expected to have any impact on Santa's journey. The wind is coming directly down from the North Pole. We have a direct run of northerly winds and Arctic air mass over Ireland. So I'd be slightly worried that he'll come even earlier than usual. So I would advise um, Irish kids to get to bed quite early, possibly as early as 9 o'clock. The scientific theories offer us an insight into how Santa Claus can travel all over the world in just one night. And of course, with a little bit of extra Christmas magic, there will be presents left for boys and girls all over the world at some stage tonight. Kian McCormack, RTE News.